Hello everybody, today I'm going to try something different. Um, a first of um, hopefully a series of wine reviews. So, well, I don't have exactly the vocabulary, so I will need to search for my, my words to describe what I taste. But I will give it a try and I hope um, you will find these little reviews interesting or at least inspiring. I will mainly uh, try to discuss wines which I find uh, good and interesting. I don't prefer to spend energy making a video for uh, products that I don't really like. And <coughs> to start actually already something uh, pretty special. It was like this that um, the last year my job brought me to Bucharest, the uh, Romanian capital. And well, I as a wine, lo wine lover was of course also interested in Romanian wine, which is not that well known outside um, its home country, Romania. Um, historically, actually, um, wine has been made since the, um, the, the time of the Romans very long actually I think that mainly uh, sweet wine was made dessert kind of uh, a wine like the Tokai of Hungary but somewhat different and it's not that long ago that actually real dry wines were made and it's also only after the fall of the communism that um, um, actually with um, western investors and western expertise that the quality um, went up several notches because um, Indeed, typically Romanian wine was quite rustic, you could say quite, uh, uh, well, you know, average wine, um, nothing wrong with it, but uh, not really ambitious. Now, here, what I have here is one of the, it seems, one of the more interesting small wineries uh, called Davino. Not that many bottles, not, you cannot find them in a supermarket, not even in Romania, you have to go to wine shops. And uh, they really specialize in quality. Um, they come from a small region called Keptura, or maybe it's Septura, I don't know how you have to pronounce it, it's with a C, uh, which, is, which has a kind of a good microclimate and which is actually very good uh, for wine making the general climate there. Well, uh, Romania is a pretty warm country uh, actually, but in the hills it can, you can really have quite a difference between uh, hot, hot summers and cool nights. Uh, which is typically good uh, for winemaking. I also read somewhere that in general in Romania the earth is a bit too fertile uh, for good winemaking. Typically wine is best on rather uh, poor soil you could say. But well in that little region uh, everything seems to come together. It's actually kind of an appellation controlé, so it's really um, there, there is a really control that comes indeed from there. So here this Davino, they have a number of them and they always have some kind of um, historic label you could say like a bit of heraldry uh, the the art and science of uh, of flags of, of uh, weapons and, uh, and families that kind of thing I don't know what the backstory is but what is interesting uh, it's called Alba Valahica it's 30 is a white one 13.9 percent is rather strong actually for a white wine it's stronger than my most french wines and the 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 grape is called fetiasca alba and fetiasca alba is actually an, an a, a regional grape of the country that makes it also interesting um, at the end uh, at the back also some kind of amusing uh, logo here and a bit of Romanian background which I don't really understand but anyway an interesting thing is it's Fetiasca Alba it's around I think I paid it around 12 euros but I forgot so let's see and let's see if I can <laughs> the way I, I need to um, uh, explain these things the color is somewhat a yellowish green um, and let's let's give it uh, a little whiff it's a very full kind of taste. Well, the bottle was already open since yesterday evening, but I especially uh, kept a bit uh, for today uh, to try my first video. So it's a very full um, flavor. It, it smells a bit like grapes, you could say. And the taste, well, yes, I prefer not to film myself because the focus should be on the wine. Um, I'm not such an ego tripper that I think I should be in the image. It is a very uh, full taste um, and soft with a long finish. That is really remarkable. The taste, well, it is, I cannot really compare it 
immediately with uh, with other uh, other grapes maybe uh, some Spanish white wine uh, I think it's called Fiura the grape has something similar well at least to this one uh, but it's definitely a lot like a Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc it's it's pretty round you could say the taste uh, so uh, full and um, and it really lingers nicely in the mouth uh, a wine which can go well with a number of dishes it's it's not it's dry but not exceedingly dry I think uh, when you have this kind of white wine which is not too dry in general that works well with Asian food which is not too spicy uh, so not I would say not the hot Thai food but Vietnamese food as an example um, uh, white wine is a bit rounder you could say not exactly sweet but a bit rounder typically goes well together and also I think this kind of not too dry white wine goes well with cheese many people drink red wine with cheese I think uh, typically white wine goes better with cheese because it goes it works with the cheese instead of fights against it what you actually always have with red wine it's always a, a bottle with red wine you don't have that with white wine this one would also com accompany uh, cheese well and furthermore yes well most dishes so like it's a bit fuller in taste than, and the alcohol will help of course in that respect than many french white wines which uh, tend to be a bit more delicate but i must say this is really pretty good um, i mean around 12 euros um, so that is you could say uh, I, I believe that's what i paid let's say that it was between 10 and 15 i don't remember it anymore but uh, so it's a mid-range wine you could say and it's really worth the money and it is well simply the fact that it comes from a country that you probably don't have much experience in wines from and, and in immediately one of the best winemakers there from what I read well that makes it extra interesting actually I bought it in a wine shop in Bucharest where I discussed with the proprietor and uh, discussed about okay what are now really really the interesting ones and, um, and in fact indeed I checked it afterwards and, and it seemed indeed that this one was indeed one of the top ones so I've, I've seen you can find them online if you want to try this Good, well I will leave it at this for my uh, first wine review, a tiny bit about the taste, a uh, bit about the, the, the smell is, uh, yes, a bit, a bit flowery you could say, a bit berry like even in the, in the smell, uh, the flavor, uh, a bit of the background, I hope you find this interesting, I intend to do from time to time a few more of these, I think it's interesting to expand my channel, uh, to include let's say, everything that a gentleman should be interested in so feel free to leave your blunt and honest feedback goodbye